What's up, bitches and hoes? It's the Smooth Terrorist once again. And, um, <laughs> you know, somebody just added a video response to my last video that was like, kids react to the Smooth Terrorist. And, uh, you know, people have asked me a lot of times how I feel about the possibility that young kids might be watching my videos. And, uh, I feel great about it. I just want to say that right now. Um, it, it's funny to me that parents are actually sitting down with their kids to watch my videos, and, and, and I love it. I mean, it's great. I, I'm like Charles Manson. I want the minds of your children. Please let your children watch my shit. Um, and I don't see any reason why they shouldn't. You know, so I use a little bit of fucking foul language in my videos. Oh well, it's nothing worse than what they hear on the schoolyard. Hand-wringing soccer moms, don't worry about it. Um, but most of all, I, I think my show is good for kids, because what, what kids crave from adults the most is what they never get, the truth. You know, uh, most adults just sit there and lie to fucking kids all day. And, uh, and they're smart enough to know when they're being lied to. They're smart enough to know when you're sparing their feelings and giving them pleasant euphemisms, and oh, mommy and daddy still love each other, we're just having to, you know, it's like bullshit, they know you want to fuck other people, um, you know, stop lying to your kids, basically, and let them watch my shit, because they're always going to get honesty from me, and I, I, I think that's good at any age, I, I, I really think so, I don't think anybody's too young for my fucking videos. <sighs> anyway... This video right here is a development about uh, Jared Lee Loeffner. And right off the bat, I know some of you guys are thinking, what, Jared Lee Loeffner? You're still on that shit, Smooth Terrorist? Oh, that's, that's, the, that's yesterday's news. We're all talking about James Holmes now. Um, now, you, you know, Jared Lee Loeffner hasn't gone down the memory hall for me. You know, I, I, I follow these things for the developments on them. And, uh, I was reading this, uh, development about that case on NBCNews.com or MSNBC, whatever the fuck they are now, they changed their name. Um, and, you know, the dinosaur media is doing something now, at, le at least a lot of them are, where they'll, they'll kind of have like a little faux social network thing on, on their websites where you can comment on all the news stories, uh, and you can, uh, you know, link the ones you let. They're basically trying to make their shit look more like alternative media because alternative media is eating their fucking lunch, which is as it should be. Um, you, you know, but the uh, one of the things about that is is it gives me the ability to kind of take these little public opinion polls and see what my fellow Americans think about the big news items of the day, and it, it's always so cringeworthy. I, I, I mean, as you can imagine, every single comment on the story having to do with Jared Lee Loeffner was either one of two categories. One, racism about the fact that he's white. Oh, another crazy cracker. Oh, another tea party crack. Oh, another crazy degenerate sister fucking hillbilly cracker who went nuts with a gun. Oh, another crazy stupid inbred hillbilly cracker. And, uh, you know, and, and of course people comparing him to George Zimmerman even though they're a different ethnicity, which makes a lot of sense. And the other category is, is people just basically talking about all the creative ways they'd like to torture Jared Lee Loeffner. Oh, rip his nuts off. Oh, pay prisoners a per diem rate to fuck him in the ass. And blah, 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 blah. Y you know, all these guys blithely unaware of the irony that, um that Jared Lee Loeffner was, was one of you. He thought the same way. He was a revenge head, too. That's why he went out and shot people, because he's American. Uh, and then that's, that's, that's how we are in this country, right? we got to be killing somebody all the time. It doesn't matter who it is. Just as long as somebody's getting their fucking card pulled, we're all happy, right? you got to be killing somebody. Uh, not killing him. Oh, that'd be crazy. Well, anyway, let me get to the point. The, uh, the development is that Jared Lee Loeffner has entered a plea of guilty 
to a whole shitload of charges. I don't even know how many fucking charges they got against them. A hundred, I'm sure. Um, and uh, the reason that he's entered a plea of guilty is because the state threatened him with the death penalty. They, they, they basically gave him a plea deal where they said, Look, you either plead guilty or we'll pursue the death penalty against you. But if you but if you plead guilty, we won't pursue the death penalty, and uh, and also as a condition of that, you have to forego any opportunity to use the insanity plea. Um. So he has, you know, basically, in order to save his life, in order to save himself from the death chair, he's relinquished his legal right to enter a plea of insanity, and. You know, it's just such fucking ridiculous shit. Um, because, like, I, I wish I still had the ability to edit these videos. I don't because I'm using my phone now, so I can't splice in photographs. I wish I could splice in a photograph of Jared Lee Loeffner for anybody left who hasn't seen what the guy looked like. Because if the insanity plea it was not intended for guys like this... Who the fuck was it intended for? I mean, the guy was diagnosed with schizophrenia before he fucking did the shootings. And, um... <laughs> you know, the judge remarked that, like, when he came before him in court this time, he was, like, a totally different person. and He seemed so much more alive and so much more conscious in there. Well, you know, of course he fucking did, because he's been receiving treatment in jail for his schizophrenia, which he didn't get when he was on the outside. You know, and, and schizophrenia, like, okay, I'm a big proponent of the idea that psychology is mostly bullshit, these guys are mostly full of shit. And we all know that. A lot of these conditions are just made up, like ADHD, you know, come on, bullshit. Um, but schizophrenia is real shit. I mean, they can even detect that with a urine test. We're talking about a real anatomical difference. It's, it's not some kind of, it's not some kind of airy-fairy Freudian nonsense. This, this is real shit. And if you don't think so, then you've just never interacted with a person who has schizophrenia. Um, but, but that's, that's a bona fide mental illness, not like some of these stupid mental illnesses that they they just make up and, and pull out of their ass. And, you know, it, it, it's kind of interesting to note that this guy was walking around, like, and, and like, you know, some schizophrenics, you know, most of these people, you can't tell they're schizophrenic until they open their mouths. It's not until you start talking to them that you're like, whoa, something's a little off with this guy over here. But most schizophrenics don't walk around with this look on their face. Like, you could take one fucking look at Jared Lee Loeffner and be like, that's a crazy guy. And yet, you know, apparently everybody did and nobody thought it was a good idea to try to get the guy the help he needed until he murdered a bunch of people and, and went to jail for it. And now he's getting treatment. And now he's fucking competent enough to stand trial. And uh, uh, according to what I've read, he actually feels remorse for what he, he's done. Not that it fucking matters to the revenge heads in this country. Hang him from the highest tree! String that motherfucker up! Torture him! Make a human centipede out of him! Let the other prisoners fuck him in the mouth and fuck him in the ass and fuck him in his eye sockets! Kill this guy! Fucking torture this guy! Drag him behind a fucking horse! Fuck him! Fuck him! He killed innocent people! He's, oh, he killed innocent people! He killed a fucking congressman and, or, no, I'm sorry. He shot and, and wounded and, and put a congresswoman in a coma and she later came out of the coma, unfortunately. And uh, uh, he shot a fucking federal judge. You know, I can't understand personally why we're not having a ticker tape parade for this guy. Um, do I really mean that? Do I really? No, guys, I don't really fucking mean that. Um... Obviously, it would be better and much more productive to reach the minds of federal court judges and, and crooked Congress people. And, and, you know, it'd be better to change these people's minds and divert them from the destructive path that they're on 
rather than just killing them, because killing people doesn't solve any problems. Hell, if it did, all humanity's problems would be solved by now, because we've been killing each other like fucking gangbusters since day one. You know, you'd think we'd have everything worked out if that was the answer. Um, but you know, the, I, I mean, let, let's, let's fucking be honest. If you gotta kill somebody, I can't think of a better choice than, than congressmen and fucking federal judges. I mean, that's, that's a much more productive use of your psychosis and your fucked up, violent American social conditioning than to kill a bunch of plebs watching Batman in a fucking movie theater. I mean, this, this guy actually did something productive with his insanity. Um, but that doesn't fucking mean it. You know, hang him from the highest fucking tree and take away his right to use the fucking insanity plea, although it clearly, clearly fucking applies to him. It clearly fucking applies to this guy. Who the fuck should be claiming insanity as a defense if not for Jared Lee Lofter? And, and like I said, I just wish I could put a picture of this guy up so you could see what I'm talking about. It's so fucking painfully obvious. And but But now that he's been receiving treatment in jail, he feels remorse, he feels guilty, he's competent enough to stand trial. You, you know, ridiculously, the judge in this case actually asked him, uh, do you have a clear mind? To which he responded, yes, your honor, I do. And it, it's, it's like, I, I guess that's how the courts make a legal determination of sanity. Are you insane? Check yes for yes, check no for no. Oh, man. God fucking bless America, right? Anyway, this has been The Smooth Terrorist. If you enjoyed this video, then download it, re-upload it, mirror it, parody it, make it your own, because the uh, Old Testament biblical-style revenge heads at fucking Google cannot censor me unless you let them. Keep it smooth.